For years now, it's been a common request for EA to make manager wages do things in career mode, but now even in 2023, wages are still pretty much pointless. Today we'll be talking about three things. What are some ideas for things you can do with wages in career mode? How can this add a challenge to the game mode? And finally, is it possible to actually become a billionaire manager in FIFA career mode? So, wages are a pointless part of the game, what kind of things can we do with them? People have suggested things like maybe eventually buying a football club with the wages, which might not be too realistic but would be a fun idea to do in career mode. While there's no way to simulate anything massive like this, you know you can't use the wages to buy a car or a big house or a football club, maybe things you can do in player career mode. If you do add a layer of role playing to these ideas, you can actually have a career mode where manager wages do have an effect on your progression. If you look on the page for manager stats, you can see there's a record for total earnings and also your current wage. If you're in the Premier League, one of these might be in the millions, whereas if you're in the lower league, chances are they're both only a few thousand. By using the current wage and your total earnings, we can actually set up a couple of challenges that dynamically change in difficulty depending on the club that you're at and the wage that you're on. A pretty interesting one could be having your current wage be the maximum wage you can offer to new players, while maybe your total earnings could be the maximum total transfer fee that you're allowed to offer. Little small challenges like this can be super fun. You'll start off having to rely on very cheap free transfers and it will increase more and more as you progress to different teams in better leagues. You could do this with any kind of save, not only Road to Glories. Maybe if you start out in the Premier League, you'll be on a wage of around £70,000 a week. If you multiply this weekly wage by the amount amounts of weeks in a year, you get over three and a half million pounds. Why not take over one of the smaller teams in the league and see if you can survive the first season by only spending this three and a half million pounds and 70,000 pounds a week on players. Every season you survive, you'll get another three and a half million pounds in your bank account, which means in season two, you can spend seven million, season three, ten and a half, and so on and so on. If you keep track of the amount you've earned, you could even simulate buying a club eventually. If you've managed a giant team for a couple of seasons, you'll probably have a couple of millions saved up. If you then deliberately get fired by either offering very low release clauses or releasing too many players, you can get offers from lower rated teams. If you do this two or three times, you can easily drop from the Premier League to League 2. Now you're managing a club in a smaller league, take note of how much in total your manager has earned throughout their career. The amount that you've earned throughout your career is the amount you're allowed to spend on transfers. So if you've saved up £9 million, then you can spend up to £9 million trying to get up to the Premier League. Of course, every single time you spend money, you should take it off this starting amount and work out how much you have left. Don't forget that even though it will be very slow, your earnings will still be increasing while you're in the lower leagues. If you want to try and spend this as well, then make sure you either keep a spreadsheet or a piece of paper so you know how much you have left to spend. So, the question in the thumbnail is can you actually become a FIFA career mode billionaire? Let's quickly do the maths and see how much you'd have to earn a week to become a billionaire by the end of season 15. So with 52 weeks in a year and 15 seasons in one career mode, we have a total of 780 weeks. This means you'd have to earn around 1.2 million pounds a week every single week of the career mode, which actually isn't possible on FIFA. However, if you're saying you own your own lower league team, you could actually try and do this by raising the financial budget section by developing and selling really good young players. So let's say that you get 10 really good players, you manage to develop them from around 60 overall all the way up to being 90 rated. You sell all of them for £100 million and instantly your bank balance will say £100 billion in it. That, in my opinion, would make you a FIFA billionaire and probably one of the first FIFA billionaires of all time. I'm sure by now you can see that there's a lot of different ways that keeping your eyes on your wages can add a little bit of challenge to the game. Why not see if you can start off as a manager at your favourite club, buy another team and then raise a full billion? That sounds like a long term save, it involves moving clubs, developing young players and also being a challenge for FIFA which I know are three things a lot of people enjoy in their career mode saves. If you're still not fully understanding the ideas, it is super simple to get your head around. If your total earnings say you've earned 3 million pounds throughout your career and you haven't spent anything, you buy a player for 500,000, you now have 2.5 million left to spend. If you want to be super hardcore, why not look at a website like Rightmove or Zillow to see how much a realistic house in the area of your football ground is actually worth. 
deduct this from your total earnings, and if you want to be super, super hardcore, why not find a fancy car on Auto Trader that you think your manager deserves to drive? Realistically, having something like a wage to motivate you to move clubs is only going to make you enjoy career mode more. You might have heard of journeyman careers where your main objective is to try and travel around the world managing different teams in different leagues. It's a different form of a road to glory, with the focus really being on your manager getting better jobs in better leagues, rather than your squad becoming better and improving and getting promotions. Hopefully you'll let me know how your save goes, either put it in the comments below or join a discord and send some screenshots my way so we can maybe review it on a further video. But thank you for watching, on screen right now is a couple of videos that I think you'd enjoy, subscribe and check them out if you're interested, but thank you for watching, cheers and goodbye.